First tonight, Jersey's assistant chief minister says he's willing to stand down following controversy over the Innovation Fund. Senator Philip Ozef has faced a public backlash after it was revealed the government fund he was in charge of could have wasted up to £1.4 million. Today, protesters gathered in the Royal Square calling for him to resign as he faced tough questions during the first sitting of the states this year. Our reporter Jessica Savage is live in the Royal Square for us now. And Jessica, a shock day in the states today. Well, what a day, certainly the most dramatic that I've ever experienced in the state's chamber. We knew that there would be tough questions from state's members for Senator Ozef today, all surrounding the Innovation Fund and the supposed loss of up to £1.4 million of public money. And indeed, we knew that there would be tough responses from him as well. He's been very keen to put forward the message that he was happy to take responsibility for the fund under his watch. What nobody was expecting today was his offer of resignation. I have no wish to be a distraction or media sideshow during this review period and so I shall be writing to the Chief Minister offering to step aside from my responsibilities as Assistant Chief Minister. There had been some inkling in the states this morning that that statement from Senator Ozef might be on its way. Reform Jersey had leaked part of a statement on social media. When Senator Ozef finally read it out, you could hear the emotion in his voice and he was said to have been in tears afterwards. He's faced a lot of criticism throughout his political career, but it seems that this latest scandal around the Innovation Fund is the nail in the coffin when it comes to the public's perception of him. Today, around 100 members of the public turned up in the Royal Square, all to vent their anger at their perception of the loss of public money by our government. There were even politicians who turned out during the state's lunch break. They say that they were speaking out in their anger and calling for Senator Ozef to resign. As far as I'm concerned, he's just wasting our money. He wouldn't waste his own the same as he's wasting ours. It's as simple as that. If I make a mistake, I get into trouble for it. Somebody continually makes mistakes. Should they not be accountable? I hope they're not going to pay him to go. He's taken enough money off the people. He's wasted. He only brought the island to a standstill. He should be booted out on a size eight. Well, I think it's a thoroughly good thing that Senator Razov has offered to tender his resignation. Uh, he has been a toxic member of the government for many, many years now and has been responsible for scandal after scandal, and nobody has been prepared to stand up to him thus far. So I'm glad he's resigning. So no love lost there between those two. Senator Ozef, for his part, has been desperate to get across the message that he himself had concerns about this fund and that he's happy to take responsibility for any of its failings under his watch. The big news, of course, his offer to resign today and this afternoon that the chief minister said when that offer comes formally, he will accept it. Jessica, thank you very much. And the chief minister is here with us now. We heard Jessica say you're going to accept Philip Ozef's resignation. The right decision for him to go? Well, he has done today the honourable thing and said that he is uh, prepared to step aside, which means he'll no longer be the Assistant Chief Minister, to allow the reviews that I have uh, instructed uh, to take place to take place so that all the facts, all the evidence, there are lots of questions about who might have been responsible when, whether it was just staff or whether there were politicians involved. This now will allow that to happen. But just last week he was here in the studio with us telling us that he wanted to be the man to get to the bottom of everything, to sort out all the problems and to move forward what's changed from last week to now and him going well I have said last week uh, that we needed to have these three reviews uh, one into staff or one into the political uh, side whether people are responsible did, did you and have a conversation today, with him he today, maybe suggesting it was the right thing for him to today, go today he has decided uh, that he will step aside of course we've had uh, conversations, but he has done the honourable thing today and I'm accepting uh, his request to step aside, which means he'll no longer be uh, the Assistant Chief Minister. There but that will allow us now this, to Is go he not being made a scapegoat uh, for this whole saga? Uh, 
Well, it can sometimes feel like that. And he said in his statement today uh, that things have been said about him. He doesn't want himself to impede getting to the bottom of who, respond, who was responsible for what when. Uh, and by stepping aside, uh, it means that hopefully the witch hunt, the uh, things that have been said about him can now be put to one side and we can actually get on with dealing with the issues which this damning report has raised in order for us to deliver confidence to the island community about the way money is being spent and about how we need to change into the future. Yeah, I mean, we heard that islanders indeed want to see accountability. They want to see tangible consequences for those who are responsible. What reviews are taking place and how much is that going to cost? Well, it is important. The Control and Auditor General did a review uh, into the administration uh, and the role of officers. Uh, now we've got to see if there's disciplinary measures that should be taken in light of that review. That's one. That should be done independently. Can I just say um, that one, one point there, though, has been raised to me. What's the point of having these reviews when the accounting officer, Mike King, has already resigned? Because he was not the only uh, officer uh, that was involved in the administration of the innovation fund. So there were others involved and rightly questions are being asked about whether disciplinary measures should be taken about then. On top of that, uh, we need to give confidence about how we uh, deliver monies to all third parties from the state. So we'll be bringing in an external accountant to look at how that money is distributed and make sure that there's appropriate governance and management of that money. And on top of that, there are questions about were ministers ministers uh, involved or not involved, as the case may be, when we might have expected them to be. We've got to do that review without fear or favour. And Senator Azov has said he has decided that he will step aside to allow that to happen okay. without fear or favour. And how much are these reviews going to cost? Uh, well, they will cost it, no doubt, into the tens of thousands of pounds in it order to get the bottom of it. Doesn't it seem perverse, then, that we're spending even more taxpayers' money to investigate wasted money? Absolutely not, because it's important that we get to the bottom of these issues and that I, states members and the public at large, have confidence in the services that we're providing, how we're spending that money into the future. OK, Chief Minister Ian Gorst, thanks for your time.